Hello everybody. The owner of this fine museum has agreed to let me come in here and video this before it is sold and dismembered. We are looking at the only that I know of, that he knows of, a complete collection of Hummers. The entire lineup from 48 all the way up. The whole thing, I've never seen so many in my life. It's like, oh my God. Wow. And he is going to sell the collection. So I am going to get this little video over to my buddy, Paul, at the Vintage Gent, and my boys over at Nikums and go, you need to promote this man and get him the most money for his goodies because he has spent the last 63 years, I believe, running this Harley dealership. And uh, that's a little bit more time than this old boy's even been on the planet. So he's been at it for a while. And he tells me some people are coming here from Maine want to buy the whole thing. I'm like, I ain't going to want to buy it at half price, my man. Let's, let's get you the monies. So I, I am here to help. I'm not here to buy it. I don't have that kind of monies. And I'm just going to do a, a roundsy roundsy. And he's got stuff in the showcases. And oh my God. He's got stuff and he's got stuff. And oh my God. And he let me in here with a smile on his head. That is, you probably never see another one of those. Uh, I haven't That's seen the one of these. Yeah. Breeza. Breeza, yeah. Made I by seen Harley. It. Yep, made by Harley. I've, I've seen them in the past. I've not seen one in this condition. I've never owned one that's not my forte, but uh, that is a rare bitch. This is brand new. New old stock, not the only new old stock bike in this collection, guys, not the only one. So we're, we're gonna just go around this little pile once again, so you can go, huh? Wow, look at that, we're gonna flip it onto this side. And uh, yeah, I, I got here just in the nick of time. And yes, I did. Wow, it, this is incredible to see the entire lineup of these things. Oh my God. More and more I do this, when I see stuff like this, I just get more and more impressed. The amount of time and effort it takes to accumulate and restore and document this type of machinery, guys. This is a lifetime work, and it, it needs to go up at Mecham's as a centerpiece, so the world has a chance at this collection. I know my boys over there will treat it right, just like they did Greeny, and I'm going to get it to their attention. Yes, sir. They got, you know, always remember when you're a place like this, you got to look up. There's always stuff everywhere. And this, this is just one room. We're, we're going to get over to the other room in a minute. The doodahs and the, the tidbits and the history behind all this stuff. Holy shit, he's got the whole collection of 30 cars. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just look at the piles of goodies. You're so nice letting me in. I guess he thought he was, I was an okay kind of guy with the two pandas on the trailer. It puts a barn shield on each side of the toast. Oh, wow. Look at that. I never even heard of that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Have a barn shield on your toast in the morning, guys. That's a new one on me. <laughs> the 
orange yield with your breakfast and eggs. <coughs> That's something. <laughs> oh, he's got the whole collector plates. I, I had the whole series years ago when that stuff came out. And I sold it to somebody. I was never able to keep all my stuff. Yeah, I get it and it goes away somewhere. Oh, look at that. Good old hat. Look at all the goodies. And... Ooh, I see a beautiful little dash. Is that an old stock? Yeah, hang on a bit. Oh, okay. Just a replica. <laughs> sure looked good in the case though, didn't it? Wow. I had a new old stock 38 dash in my pile. Brand new. Harley Davidson chessboard. I didn't know they made one. Mm. Oh my god, look at that. We've got trophies here. Hmm. Yep. That's the man right there. <laughs> Let's check this out. All right. My first JD motor I was offered for 50 bucks. And I didn't buy it. This that, is a prototype engine. Ooh, a prototype. Sand casted. Sand cast. Wow. I've only won, owned one racer sprint in my life. I sold it as a basket for $3,500 in the 90s, late 90s. I made some money. Hey. <laughs> Got all the mugs. Holy shit. Man. Woo, what a privilege to be led into this awesome museum. So let's go take a look at the other room. Got the popcorn machine even. Got the Liberty Edition. Got another Liberty Edition. They also made a sports shirt, guys. Got two years of Sturgis's. Got a commemorative paint job on a Super Glide. They also made those for the year. Uh, Sturgis has never been fired up. 91, brand new, wow. Brand new, wow, no, well, another one. They made that little special paint job for the uh, mm -hmm. FX uh, Super Ride as well. I think they made 200 sets of that. Yeah, this is the rare one. The other one, they made 1,000. They made about 200 or 250 or something. Something really, I mean, that's these ultra street, rare. These street bikes have never been started. New old stock, guys, here. These are new old stock. New old stock motorcycles. We'll get to those little pan heads in a minute. You gotta wait. Mm, couple of Buells. Uh, yeah. The XR's got 100,000 miles on it. 100,000 miles? Wow. Impressive. Got the lineup right here. Got the Sportster, the Super Glide. And the FLH, yes we do. These are in, oh my god, condition. Wow, did you restore these or are these original paint? Hmm? Did you restore these or are these all original paint? These, uh, that's original, that's original. This, I had painted. And this one we had painted, so. My painter matched it. it. You could have decided once original and you can't tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah, the last, uh, in the early 2010s, I reassembled, I don't even know how many shovel heads, original paint out of stock from this bike and that bike and these parts that have swapped me, several hundred of them. Johnny Bergen bought huh? that for me. Did he? And uh, the last uh, super glad I did, I had a cherry tank like that. But I, I couldn't find the fenders. We had to match the fenders. Mm -hmm. My painter's gone now, so I've, I've lost the ability to do that without my painter. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Here we got a few knuckles. Now, this is, this is special. 
pay attention. This is the anniversary knuckle pan shovel with a line Weber special cam in there. Line Weber, I mean, I love sifting, I love Andrews, but Line Weber made the best cams. And I'll take anybody to the drag strip on that one. Beautiful 40, beautiful 47. Got a couple of super glides, 71, 72, and the anniversary model. Got to have a couple of British bikes in the pile. You know, something cool, right? We got a Honda over here, and this he was telling me is a new old stock Springer. It's brand new, brand new, brand new. So I told him it's like, man, that's a thirty thousand dollar bike today. Don't even play around with that. So pay attention. Seventy fifth anniversary, maybe kid to kinch. The 80 came out in 77 on the FLHS. This is a 78 model for the anniversary. They really hyped it up, but they made 1200s all the way through 81. It was a big deal. It was $500. $500 to buy a hop-up cylinder and fly roll kit back then to make your 1200 into an 80. That was a big deal, and five hundred dollars was a oh my god! You did what amount of money back then? You're talking about a bike that sold retail for forty five hundred, but it's five hundred dollars if you want to bump it up. Phew! Always one of my favorites. Eighty fifth anniversary. I've had a few of them. Like a little Cushman, I believe, or is that a is that something else? There's a couple. Cushman. That is a Cushman Eagle. Eagle. Okay, I, I had one of those years ago with 2,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. paint. I brought brought it all the way from the museum out of the Smoky Mountains all the way to California to barely get my money back. And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to own another one of them. <laughs> yep. Another 45. Yep. Just love these anniversary bikes. I've done so well with them over the years. And here we got a Sheriff Special. That's that. So now we get to the panheads, which you've all been waiting for. Okay. So, we got your 58. Yay! And these are all restorations, correct? Uh -huh. All your pans are restorations? Mm -hmm. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So it's very hard anymore to find somebody with a lineup like this that will let you come in and share it with the world. And I didn't just get look, see, and talk about it. He's let me make the video and share it with everybody here. And that, that's really nice of him. <clears throat> we got, of course, the mandatory 57. And you said that's a 55, if I recall correctly. I don't have a 56. Don't have a 56. I bought it from a guy. Had it here for years. Mm -hmm. I paid eight thousand dollars for the whole garage, and I told him he could have it back for that kind of money. So, twenty years later, he come back and says, "I want my bike back." So I sold it to him for eight thousand dollars. Well, you got to keep your word. That's what she says. You got to be real with it. Remember that, gentlemen. If you say you're going to do this in the world. Be a man, stand up, and do what you said. There's not too many guys do that anymore. But back in the world where he grew up, and I grew up, even though I'm a little bit younger than he is, if you didn't do what you said, they took you out back, and they showed you the error of your ways. Man had to stand up for what he said. 
So here you got it guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection. And uh, I am going to present it to my buddy Paul at the Vintage It and uh, uh, is the only known sign for Evil Knievel, Sink River Canyon Joe. Only one. The only sign for that. The only sign. You, you pay attention? The <clears throat> only sign. People will pay money for that stuff. This pile needs to go to Meekums, let the world bid on it. So I am going to upload the video tonight. Four foot wide and 24 foot long. Wow. 24 foot long sign. Gonna upload that and uh, let you guys get a real good look at all these treasures. And I'll hopefully uh, get to see everybody bid on it and text me comes. Get the man the most money for his stuff. Right? That's, that's where this needs to go. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.